Hello everyone and welcome back to Maxwell Render Hot Tips, the show where you learn the sometimes obscure but sometimes essential features of Maxwell Render. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre Design Technology. Today's Maxwell Render Hot Tip is the Selection Render. What it is, where to find it and how to use it. So here I am in Maxwell Studio and the Selection tool is found over in Camera Parameters under the Sensor tab. At the moment it's set to Full, so when I click the big orange Render button, Maxwell will render my entire camera view. However, if I turn the selection to region and then click this new icon that pops up here, I can select a small part of the camera view. I can also do this by manually entering the origin and endpoints. However, it's much easier just to use the tool. Now if I activate my fire preview, you'll see that nothing changes. However, if I stop fire and click the big orange render button, you'll see that Maxwell Render is now rendering only this small portion of the image. Everything else is black. But why would you use this tool? Well, it's very useful if you've rendered a nice big image, but there's a small portion of this image which you later realize was wrong. Perhaps the modeling was wrong, the material was wrong, whatever. You can use the Selection Region tool to select a small part of the camera view, render it again, and then composite it in post-production without having to re-render the entire image. And of course, rendering a small region of the camera view should be faster than rendering the entire image all over again. But that's not the only option in the Selection drop-down menu. You've also got the option of Blow Up. And what Blow Up does is this. And now what Maxwell Render is rendering is a small portion of the image, but it's blown up to the full resolution that I've set in the camera parameters. Why would you use this option? Well, let's say you've got a small portion of your image and you're not entirely sure if it's rendering correctly. You can use the Region Blow Up tool to see that small portion of the camera view nice and big without having to render the rest of the image. So that's your Maxwell Render hot tip for today. What the selection tools are, what they do and how to use them. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you again soon.